Okay, question 16. Um, this looks like a trigonometry question straight away. You can see we've got one angle on one side, and we want to work out from length from A to B. So I'm going to call it X. So what I'm going to do straight away is I'm going to label all of my sides. So with the angle 23, this is my opposite, this is my adjacent, and then this is my hypotenuse. This is the one that's not interested to me. It's got no friends. These are, I'm interested in one with adjacent hypotenuse. So if I write out my, from memory, sot, ka, toa, I can see the one that's got the a and the h in. This is the one I want. I don't want the sine or the tangent. So that allows me to just do the calculation. I know I want to find out that adjacent is my x, so I know that c times h. But more importantly than that, I know that x is equal to c for cos or cosine of the angle times by the h, which is our hypotenuse, which is 8.6. And then I've just got to tap that into my calculator. Now, one thing when you, if you are tapping into your calculator, um, cos 23, make sure you close your bracket afterwards, times 8.6, and then I get that number 7.9163 It says, as always, three, well, it has regularly said that, three significant figures. So for me, x is roughly 7.91. I want to keep the one, but the six rounds it up. 7.92 three significant figures.